Hi there, I'm Josh, and um, we've got a bit of a different camera angle than usual today because the piece of gear that I wanted to talk about uh, to get everything that I'm using in frame, I had to sort things around. Think of it like a, uh, it's like a third person video game. So I wanted to talk about this cassette recorder, the Marantz PMD-221. These were really popular, I think with like um, news broadcasters, you know, way back when. And now I guess that like, while cassette is having a bit of a renaissance in the same way that vinyl did. I would say that it's probably not the most popular cassette player out there, what people are going for. I actually learned about it from a, a Heinbach video where he was talking about the Marantz PMD-222, which is generally a very similar model. What is special about the PMD-221 and the PMD-222, and, and there are other cassette players that are like this, is that they're what's called a three-head cassette player. So the heads of a cassette recorder are the pieces that are pressed against the magnetic tape to either erase or record or read, or well, play, what is on the tape. So the benefit of having three heads where they're all separate is that you have a little bit of space between the record head and the play head. So you can turn it into kind of a, a lo-fi tape delay, which is really, really fun sounding. And that's what we're going to explore here. Before we do, I just want to make it clear. I'm not presenting this like the ultimate way to get um, delay on your recordings. You can always use a delay pedal. I've got, let me see if I can get it in focus, a, a Canyon delay and looper. Uh, I don't have any relationship with electro harmonics or anything, but I really love how this delay sounds. Or if you want something that mimics a tape delay, there's a free plugin called VeraSpeed, which I will put a link down in the description where you can go download it. And it is really great sounding and I think captures that kind of lo-fi delay sound. Why don't we start with actually turning this into a delay unit? Uh, we don't have to do any kind of physical modification to it, but the way that we use it is special. So I've got a Tascam Porta Studio 414 here. This is a four track cassette recorder. I'm not gonna be doing any recording on it. I'm just gonna be using it as a mixer. And then I've got my trusty Casio MT-68 here. I love its sounds, uh, I love its looks. I covered it with stickers, so I guess I love its looks even more now. And then over here, I have a Flamma FSO2 reverb. It was a really cheap reverb pedal. I've got a video about it if you're interested. It's a really great budget uh, option if you're looking for just a very solid reverb unit and you don't feel like using a plugin. So let's talk about how everything is hooked up. Now I've got the Casio plugged into the first input here on the Tascam, and I'm using one of its effect sends to send audio into the Marantz PMD-221. Then I have the audio coming out of the Marantz PMD-221 going into the second input here on the Tascam. The reason for doing it this way is that you then use the effect send, you're sending the audio from the Casio or whatever instrument you're trying to tape delayify, you're sending it out of the Tascam into the Marantz, the audio from the Marantz then goes back out into the Tascam and if you want to up the feedback, have the delay feed into itself so it goes on for longer, then you just use the effect send on the channel where you've got the Marantz plugged in and it'll feed back into itself. The final ingredient here is going to be a tape. I'm just going to put in a blank tape. Before we begin, I, I do want to just again stress, you know, this is a very space intensive and more uh, financially expensive way of getting a delay sound. Now, I'm sure that there are people out there who swear by the analog delays or who swear by, you know, tape delays, stuff like that. My opinion on it is, um, you know, if you've got a delay pedal like this and it sounds good, which, um, you know, a lot of them sound really, really good, that's that's valid. It, it doesn't need to be the most uh, expensive or roundabout or uh, lo-fi way of getting a sound for it to uh, sound good. Why don't we start adding some things together? Now I've got the Casio playing its flute sound which already sounds, you know, very mellow and very lovely. But um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit record and play on the Marantz, and I'm going to turn on that input, and we'll hear a little bit of a delay coming from it. I've got it in the lower speed playback mode. It does have a, um, a control for playback speed, which does not work when you're recording. You can solder some stuff in to uh, get around that, which I have not yet done. So we'll just be working with it uh, as it is stock. So we've got that going. I'm gonna turn on the input and I'm gonna turn up the send a little bit. And you can hear already, we've got a little bit more space. 
one of the nice things about it is um tape is not a perfect way of playing back audio you know um if you've seen what these look like when they come unraveled which uh if you use cassette tapes a lot it's kind of inevitable you'll know that it's a you know it's a pretty flimsy just a strip of basically magnetic paper and because of that you'll get these little wobbles in the delay which you can accentuate i've got the um vibrato on on here which i feel adds a little bit more to it now why don't we add just a little bit more space we'll turn on the reverb we've got over there and play around with it a little bit more You can hear it's got a nice big kind of spatial sound. And um, just to pull everything back a little bit, let's go back to how the Casio tone sounds dry. Like that. And yet, when you add these effects, a lot of space. I think this is like interesting. It's cool. Uh, obviously not the ideal way to get delay. I think that we might close out with uh, just some playing around with the Marantz going and the Casio tone and the Flamma. Um, before we do, you know, thanks so much for stopping by, for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that it was informative and uh, possibly also entertaining. If you did enjoy and you aren't already, please consider leaving a like and hitting subscribe. Um, if you are subscribed already, thank you so much for stopping by or coming back, I guess. And um, if you're not subscribed, thanks so much for coming by. I really appreciate the viewership either way. Um, but yeah, we'll just close out with a little bit of noodling on the Casio using some of its different sounds sent through the Marantz and the Flamma, getting some nice space. And um, thank you so much. And bye. <laughs>